Hey Cringier, and we've had a bunch of stuff posted on site over the last week. It's the 25th of February today, and here's a recap of everything you might have missed. If you will want to play Skyrim more like Happy Home Designer, you'll be keen to hear about the new DLC dropping for the Elder Scrolls Online. The Homestead DLC grants players the ability to purchase properties such as apartments, houses, lavish manors, and even an entire island. The DLC includes nearly 40 instance homes, each one tailored to one of the game's 10 playable races. Available for purchase through either in-game gold or through the Crown Store will be more than 2,000 items players can use to customize these environments to suit their in-game character. The Homestead DLC is available for all users on PC, Mac, Xbox One, and PS4. While we're talking about MMOs, the upcoming expansion for Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood had more details released at a German fan festival. Players will be able to join the resistance and fight for control of Ala Migo, as well as exploring Doma and its surroundings, allowing players to leave Eorzea for greener pastures. Producer and director Naoki Yoshida announced further details and features for Stormblood during the keynote presentation of the event, including the addition of Samurai as a new job, a new city called Gugain which abhors violence, new beast tribes and primals, dungeons and much much more. Stormblood is coming to PS3, PS4 and PC. PC users can expect an increase in minimum spec requirements and PS3 support is to be discontinued after the expansion launch on June 20th, 2017. Not too long after the axing of Good Game on ABC2, a new web show has been launched online, with an old Good Game host stepping back in front of the camera. Under Control is a new gaming show set to fill the void left by the demise of Good Game. Hosted by original Good Game co-creator Jeremy Ray or Junglist and popular streamer Jesse James, the show is now available to view online. Launching on Snackable TV late last month, the series is available on the Snackable TV website as well as the Catch app on buses around Sydney. Promising fresh new episodes each week will focus on providing bite-sized gaming news, reviews and so much more. Also this week we had reviews posted for Neo and for Honor, so don't forget to check those out on StickyTrigger.com. For more from us at Sticky Trigger, you can always check out the website at StickyTrigger.com, subscribe to us here on YouTube at youtube.com slash StickyTrigger, or chat to us on Twitter, where you'll find us as at StickyTriggerAU. For now, that's all from me though, thanks for watching.